3RD Reviews here and today we're going to be taking a look at the all new NECA Prometheus series and this is the David 8 figure. If you checked out my haul video that I posted uh, Saturday morning, uh, I said that I picked up both the Prometheus figures, this and the Deacon. I got them as a set for 25 bucks at Frankenstein's. So yeah, I'm going to take the time and do a review of this guy. Let's have a look at the packaging first. See the bottom says David 8 Prometheus quick look at the figure and packaging sorry about the glare so he looks like he comes with his helmet extra head and his little electronic thing top says Prometheus pretty standard packing the same as the series before it and here we have the back of the packaging it says Prometheus David 8 quick read up on that willing to pause and look at that uh, picture of the figure Pretty nice. Uh, picture of uh, the other figures in the line. We have the engineer and uh, chair suit engineer and the pressure suit engineer from the previous line. We have this line, which is David 8 and the Deacon, which I'll also will be reviewing. And the next line, which is Holloway and Fifield. Those look pretty nice. So, yeah, just a standard, standard Prometheus packaging we got in the last series. Pretty nice, though. So bottom it says Wayland Corp. Alright, so we're just going to take a second and get this guy out of packaging and have a closer look at him. Stay tuned. And here we have David 8 out of packaging. So good look at the head sculpt. Looks pretty good. It resembles the actor that played the character. Look at some of David's armor. You see he has his, uh, his camera on the, his left shoulder. We have his uh, badge on the chest. There's this weird slant at his uh his abdomen area. I tried moving it around, but it just has this natural slant. Look at his arm arms. Look at his hands. They look pretty good. I like the colorization of these guys' uniforms, the blue, the blue and the black. Detail look at his belt. Some nice weathering in all of his armor, down to his uh his leg area. Looks like he has pretty good articulation. Down to his boots, and you see some of the accessories. His uh, his helmet, space helmet, his alternate head, which goes with the space helmet, and his little uh, scanning device with the flashlight attached to the top of it. And here's a look at the back of the figure. The hair is done pretty well. The back of the figure is really well detailed. See the Wayland Corporation on the back. We have the uh, tubing coming from his shoulder, and it leads down to right here and under his butt with some other um, accessories and boxes and other electronic devices David is an android he has another flashlight on his uh, his right hip it doesn't appear to be removable really great detailing on the um, the back of the figure there's a lot more stuff going on really nice down to the boots uh, again I have him standing on a McFarlane stand but he stands well without it I just like having them on there so at least likely to fall over yeah this guy's really well detailed they did an excellent job with their human characters I was looking forward to see what they would do with them well David's an android but you know same thing and now we'll have a closer look at uh, David's accessories here's his uh, space helmet it's made out of a plastic but I like the way they made it look like glass sort of imperfections and some of the swirls that glass would have. Inside has this uh, gold gold frame. Uh, it doesn't open up or anything. You just place it on the top of his head. See it pegs in. And uh, it fits over either head. However, I don't know if it will be able to snap with this one on. You can see you can fit. It'll fit over the top, but I think with this one it pretty much just sits really a weird shaped helmet. Here's a look at the alternate head. It has a David with the Wayland insignia on it. I actually prefer the helmet with the hair. I like the face a little better. This one will definitely look better inside the helmet though, but I'm glad they gave us the alternate head. It's really nice. You can see it just pegs in there. I'll show you what it looks like on the figure in a second. 
Yeah, and here's the um, this little electronic thing you're scanning with. It has a flashlight on top. It's basically just black and white. Not too detailed on this. It's probably my least favorite of the accessories. The helmet's really nice though, and the uh, extra head. And that's pretty much it for the accessories on this guy. Just want to do a quick side by side comparison with the heads. I pop this one off, as you can see. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up. There's a, diff uh, a very light hint shading difference on the face, but not too bad. They both look pretty good. Let's go ahead and pop the helmeted version on. Okay, so here he is with the helmet on and the uh, the space helmet thing on the inside. It looks pretty good. I like how the plastic warps his face like glass would do when you turn it. See that? It looks really good. And he's also holding this little uh, scanning accessory he comes with. He holds that in either hand. Okay, so as far as articulation in this guy, this head can rotate up and down, back and forth pretty good. Just some nice motion. He actually has articulation on this little uh, camera device here. It goes up and down. It's on a little uh, little hinge joint. Careful not to break that. Shoulders can rotate out as well as up and down, back and forth. Leaves on a ball hinge. Elbows can rotate back and forth. There's kind of a twist but not too much. Uh, the hands can rotate. He has a rotation at the waist, as well as the upper torso ab rotation. And uh, for leg articulation, he can go back and forth. He can go out. This is actually the same articulation we got on the newer Gears of War figures. It's really great. So you can do this full kick thing back and forth. He also has a cut joint at the upper thigh. He can bend at the knee, double joint the knees, as well as rotate at the ankle, go back and forth. And there's an ankle pivot. It's really nice, really great articulation on this guy. Oh. NECA did a fantastic job with that. And for a quick size comparison video, you see I have him standing next to his Series 2 counterpart, the Deacon figure, as well as the Series 1 uh, engineer in the chair suit. He's taller than Deacon and shorter than the engineer, which he should be, and um, I think these figures are really, really good scale with one another. If you haven't checked out the NECA Prometheus line, I advise you to. They're really nice. They came out really great. So the Series 2 is amazing. I'm um, looking forward to what NECA is going to bring us in the future. Uh, be sure and check out my figure review of the Deacon and the Flight Suit Engineer. I just posted all these guys. These are really great. Um, he gets a very high recommendation. And this is uh, NTRD Reviews. Um, please like, rate, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more figure reviews. Thanks, guys.